All right, hopefully I'll be able to capture the rest of the process of rooting this HTC uh, Droid DNA from Verizon uh, with this video. This is the HTC Droid DNA uh, all-in-one kit by Asun 2000 uh, version 1.0. It allows you to install HTC drivers, register at HTC, uh, get the token. Uh, we went ahead and got that. It pretty much sends you into your bootloader and see I might have closed the window you can go ahead and click that get token ID so it's pressing a key to continue so make sure you have those HTC drivers installed go ahead and register at HTC dev it'll automatically punch up the commands and you'll see your token right here. Uh, I'm running Windows 8. I'm going to click Mark at the top corner of this identifier token start. And then go to the bottom and hit Enter. Um, I think with other versions you can hit Copy at that point. Basically when you have this you'll go ahead and go to Submit Token ID. Then hit Go. Let's go ahead and close this down. And then it'll open the browser. Go to the very bottom. You'll already have to be logged in. Paste it in. Hit submit. Then you'll be given an email with the unlock key as a file attachment. It's going to be this unlock underscore code dot bin. Go ahead and put that in the data folder of this all-in-one uh, kit. I'll put the download links in the description below. You want to extract this in the same uh, folder it has named like uh, droid underscore DNA underscore all-in-one kit version 1.0 don't modify that folder name then we'll go ahead and click unlock bootloader let's see so you right here the folder and data let's see that unlock code bit dot bin right there. We'll click go. We're already in the bootloader. So it's gonna send you to this unlock bootloader screen right here. Go ahead and click yes. Actually you have to use the volume up to go to yes and power to continue. It's gonna delete everything you have on the device when you unlock the bootloader. Just letting you know that. And this says press any key to continue. Has options to flash a custom recovery, uh, clockwork mod or team win recovery project. I'm going to go ahead and flash clockwork mod recovery. And here are some of the optional things you can do. So now the device is booted back up. I'm going to go ahead and flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. This will pop up. Press any key to continue. Pretty much after you've already enabled the USB debugging and install from unknown locations, enable that. I mean, you should be in the same mode the whole time. Except when you unlock the bootloader and it turns the USB debugging off. So go ahead and go through the setup wizard or try to bypass it. So I'll go back into settings, developer options, enable USB debugging. I'll close this and restart it. So it'll send the recovery. Press any key to continue. I'll let it boot back up. It says for permanent wait till the phone is in recovery and flash super su.zip. Go ahead and click run. And it sends super su.zip over to the SD card. 
and pretty much press A key and kill that. So we're in uh, Clockwork Mod based recovery. I'm going to go install from SD card using volume down. Choose zip from SD card. And Super SU is right there. I'm clicking power to accept. Power is your OK button. Go back. Reboot. And at this point, this device should be permanently rooted. So basically, I did wait until I was done with the root process to hit continue. So sorry about the hiccups along the way. This is part two. We basically got our unlock file from HTC Dev, installed a custom recovery, and rooted the device using Hasun 2000's HTC Droid DNA all-in-one kit. So for more information about this device and more, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, visit these devs. Uh, donate if you can. And thanks a lot for watching this video.